Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make paper poinsettias just in time for the holidays. All the materials are listed below the video and I also have templates for this flower if you want it cut with a Cricut or Silhouette. But for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to hand cut it with very easy shapes. First, start with six yellow tissue paper squares about the size of your middle line index finger and draw a circle in the center with a green marker and slowly stroke to fill around the circle. Then add a few dots in the center of the circle with red marker. This is tricky because you don't want to over soak your tissue paper, so don't brush on too many strokes when you are doing this and do this to the rest of your yellow tissue paper squares. You should have six total. I also like to do this on top of another paper so I don't ruin my table your markers will bleed over on the other side. Then grab some plain white tissue paper and make six tissue balls similar size to an end of a Q-tip. Nothing fancy, I just use a scrap of tissue paper and tear it. Grab a floral wire stem. The stem could be any color, but this brown one is linked below the video. Glue one of the tissue ball onto the floral wire and grab the yellow tissue paper square and place your tissue ball wire onto the center of the yellow tissue where the circle was and add glue on one of the corners to anchor the yellow tissue paper onto the wire. And fold down to a triangle and also fold the other corners and gently wrap the rest of the yellow tissue paper onto the wire. Put that to the side and the rest of the tissue balls will be individually wrapped onto the yellow squares by placing the tissue ball onto the center and making a triangle and eventually bringing down all the corners and gently wrap the ends. Then glue only the bottom yellow side and attach each piece going in a circle around the original one on the stem. You should have six pieces attached to the stem. Then grab some eight by 11 red regular text weight cardstock paper and cut three strips the short way with one strip being small and the second and third being wider. The smallest one you could fold in half and use only half the piece. Fold that half piece into three and cut a leaf shape with the stem at the bottom. Then grab the second piece and fold into four and cut a bigger leaf shape with the stem. You should be able to see the difference between the first one and the second one. The last piece will also be fold into four and cut a leaf shape with the stem similar in size of the second one. Then grab two strips of green cardstock paper and make six of the same leaf stem shape similar in size as the last two pieces. Then go back to the smallest stack of three and gather them up and fold on the center and fan fold in an angle to create a spine look for the petals and slightly shape them out on the tips. Shape the same way for all the pieces including the green leaves. Fold down the middle, fan fold at an angle, open it back up and slightly curl the tips. These ponzerias are my favorite to make for the holidays. Perfect for gift toppers. I'll be making these for my son's teacher, adding it with a gift card to her favorite coffee shop. You could also add these to a wreath.
Once you have all the pieces shaped, grab your dark green floral tape and first floral tape the stem with the tissue pieces covering up most of the yellow ends right below the green area. Then take piece by piece starting from the smallest and floral taping the stem side onto the floral wire. I like to work in threes and basically making a triangle with the angles. By the second layer, you'll need to floral tape lower down the stem and make sure to crisscross the red leaves to fill in between the gaps of the first layer. I also like to slowly floral tape down the stem to mimic the ponzeria. These flowers tend to have their petals climb down the stem and have these gaps in between. You don't have to make them look perfect, just like the real ponzerias. At the end, floral tape the rest of the green leaves and floral tape the rest of the stem. Then bring down each leaf and reshape if needed. I like to put these in a plastic pot with some moss and I'll be showing you how to wrap the plastic pot to have it gift ready for the holidays. You could use tissue paper, craft paper, or wrapping paper. Cut out a square that fits right above the plastic pot. Put the pot on one corner and grab each corner to gather up. Then grab some ribbon, wrap, and tie a bow. If you need some guidance, you could add a little glue at the ends to keep things in place. You could also try making these in different colors and even red glitter paper. Please like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.